Hello everybody, this is Julia and today I have a video for you featuring how you can use partial die cuts left over from another project to create another card. Um, I will be linking to this other project that I did using the Forest Friends by My Favorite Things. And from that card I had leftovers. I had this fox and I had those partial trees. Because I die cut a scene, like I die cut a window for a scene where the fox was in the foreground and the trees were in the background. And because the trees were in the background, I only had like partial trees. But you can puzzle this together as you can see here and you can create yet another scene. So I didn't, this is the card that I made originally and you can see the scene that I created here. And these are the shapes that I cut out because I stamped on the other card. I didn't use the die cuts. Now I'm going to be using some pattern paper as well because I want to have some contrast and I'll be needing the pattern paper. And I'm going to adhere this to the bottom of my card base or of my panel. No, it's the card base actually. Just making sure that it's going to be there straight because, you know, it's going to be a contrast element. And if it's crooked, it's going to show, especially with that very linear pattern. So I trimmed this off. This is the bottom of my card base here. And then I have this panel um, that's going to go on top and it's going to let uh, some of that pattern, uh, some of that pattern show. Now I wet my paper here just with clean water and then I'm grabbing my Gansai watercolor pants. Now you can use any watercolor medium that you have. You don't need to go out and buy the specific one. This will work with any watercolor medium that you have. What I'm doing here is I'm going in the order of the rainbow from yellow to green to blueish purple colors and then to pink. And uh, I, it's probably hard for you to see, but the reason it's hard for you to see is that I'm doing a super, super light wash. So my first wash was super light. Um, that was because I wanted to end, end up with a very light wash and I wanted the colors to blend very nicely. And I find that this is much easier when you do a very light wash first. Then I wet the area again that I or had already colored and came back and added more color, like more intense color. I set that aside to dry and then did some copic coloring on the craft paper. I did a number of videos with this technique and I think if you check out the playlist on my uh, on my YouTube channel that is for copic coloring, you will see those videos as well there. Um, because when you let the copic marker dry on craft paper, it's going to be it's going to shine. It's going to be really intense in color. And it, it looks really weird at first when the marker is wet, but once it dries, it looks really cool. Now, of course, there's no white Copic marker, so I'm grab my white polychromos pencil. If you have a Prismacolor pencil, that will work just as fine. And I am just coloring in those areas to have really nice contrast. And I did the same for the trees. I colored uh, the trees like going again from the darkest color towards the lightest. You can see that I'm going from dark to my mid color here. And then I'm grabbing my lightest green color and filling that in. And it's very easy to blend on the craft paper. Try whatever craft paper you have, but I'm pretty sure it will work. So here's my dried background. Paper's a little bit warped, but I don't, I'm not worried. I'm just going to adhere it straight to my card base here trying to get this straight because I usually mess up at this step and then it's like I have to trim down the edges and then my card gets smaller and smaller <laughs> okay so I actually have oh yeah I'm not yeah I forgot to stamp the sentiment figures doesn't it um, and on the very bottom edge of that uh, watercolor piece I actually added a strip of gold paper I did that one myself by just adding Versamark to paper and then heat embossing gold embossing powder on top of it. That was just for some additional contrast and glitter. And then I'm using regular adhesive on those partial die cuts. And for the fox, I just placed it there so I would know where the trees would go. But I have some foam adhesive on the fox here. So it will be raised up a bit just for some additional dimension. And I thought it would look cool. And it turned out to be really, really cool. I was so happy with how this card turned out. You can see the dimension here. So I'm ba basically I'm working with leftovers. This is this is the card that I created from leftovers. So I was so thrilled that it worked out so so nicely. And I'm grabbing my gel pen here, my white one, and just adding some fake highlights to the card. Here you can see that gold um, border that I added to the watercolor piece, and just how nice of a contrast it makes to this um, uh, pattern paper and here's the dimension that I created with the fox being foam mounted and there are also some sequins in the background I hope you can see that 
Um, there's some sequins in the background from Pretty Pink Posh. These are like in matching colors of the watercolor background, which turned out really nice. I was really happy how that one turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got inspired. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. Cheers!